So the next 100 years of education should uh, not forget the past. I think it's important that we keep an eye to the past. That's not to say we don't repeat anything from the past or, or, or that we do. But the past is really important because we've learned lessons from that. And there's some things that wouldn't have worked 50 years ago, but may work now. And equally, there's some things that did work that won't work now. So we, we don't want to forget that. We don't always need to reinvent the wheel. Um, but also to keep an eye uh, to the future. Um, and the important thing for me is that uh, what the skills that young people are going to need in 10 or 20 years' time, we can't even begin to imagine what they are now. So it's really challenging for teachers to be able to, to do that. So uh, in terms of the, the next 100 years, we need to get better at trying to predict what might be coming in the future and by doing it, by reflecting on the past and the future that we've already had, as it were. 